I'm live. One person awake, and I bet it's my mom. Probably. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'll go ahead and do the intro for people who are watching later. But welcome. My name is Misty, and this is my weekly Wildflower Wednesday live vintage and antique sale. I do it every week. At the same time, for now, I might be adding a couple of them. I guess my camera caught the quality. Oh, let's try that. Is that better? Hi, Karen. Emma's here with me. She's here to keep track of everything. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Emma said my quality is bad. So with everything else that's going on in the world, it doesn't surprise me. But um, hi, guys. Hi. Emma. People are saying hi to Emma. She says she's not camera ready, but she, she is. She has all of her scrunchies here, and I told her she should come and show them to you, but she's sitting over there for now. Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. Okay, so she, th this is a live auction or a sale. People call, some people call it a lot, an auction, but I, I just kind of call it a sale because I just hold up something, and it has a number on it. So if you want the thing that I'm holding up, then you just have to say, type in the number, Emma's keeping track, and um, and we'll we'll get on with it. I have 50 items that I have inventoried in to show you. We'll see if we get through them all. Um, yay! I'm glad that you guys are here. I have been stir crazy because I'm a very social person and I haven't been able to socialize. So this I look forward to. Um, I've been looking forward to it all day. Also, before we get started, yes, I have the mugs here in front of me. Before we get started, I do want to mention two things. I didn't tell her that I was doing this. I know that on her channel, she's doing kind of a, a shout out for a shout out, but she's already shouted me out. And Anne Eckhart, if you don't follow her, she's doing Anne Eckhart's vlogs, but she also does the reseller report. And she does a video, or it's a video, but it's kind of like a podcast, but it's on her, on a YouTube channel. And she talks about everything that's going on in the reselling community. I look forward to it every morning. She just does it Monday through Friday. So if you're not following that, make sure that you do, because it's, it's really interesting to listen to. You can just listen to it while you're working. You don't have to like look at anything. Um, and also I have a friend, her name is Pam Voorhees, and she owns a sweet little sign shop called the Little Red Porch. She has just started a YouTube channel and it's amazing. Um, she hand paints signs that she sells. I have several of them in my home um, and she's starting to do these tutorials. So she's showing you how to frame out the canvas of the sign and how to paint. Um, the last video was how to paint tulips. And they're fun videos. Pam's a lot of fun. So make sure that you go subscribe to her channel. She's so much fun. And check out her, her Etsy sale. She does an Etsy sale every once in a while. But make sure that you do check out her channel too because she's so much fun. So I wanted to go ahead and give her a shout out too. Okay, Salty and Peppy. I have a lot of Salty and Peppy. Send me an email. I might part with a couple of them. So if you want them a Salty and Peppy, Janet, send me an email and I might get rid of some. Okay, so the way this works again, you see something, you want it, just comment the number in the description or in the chat and we'll get it, we'll reserve it for you. It, the only thing that you have to do is send me an email, poshypate at gmail.com. It's in the description and you don't have to write it down right now. And then I need to know your shipping address if you've not bought from me before and your, I'm, I will send a PayPal invoice. The prices do not include shipping, but I do get, I go through pirate ship. I charge you what pirate ship charges me and, and we'll go from there. And I do ship, I'll get all this stuff ready and I will, I ship as soon as I can. Okay. Everybody's saying, yeah, say hi to one another. I love that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to show, and again, these are not in any particular order because I, I don't work that way. So they all have a number on them, but they're not in order. So I'll go ahead and show these. I have two of these. This one is, I have a number, number, oh, I don't think this one. I'm gonna look at number six. Should be a, a, um, drip, a mug. Yep, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Oh, okay. Okay, this is number six. You get both of them. They Number six is $14. They are these drip glaze mugs. This one's a lighter blue, lighter blue, lighter brown. This one is a darker brown. They are not marked on the bottom. They have some really great crazing and the scroll work on them. All right, number six is sold. Number six goes to Jebby. So make sure that you send me an email, poshipay at gmail.com so I can get all your shipping information. All right, so the next thing I'll show is, let me show these things that are up high so I don't knock them down. This used to be a collection of mine and it is, these are, this one is Cupid, uh, what does that say, Cupid? Asleep. asleep. <laughs> Thanks. It is number 12. It's Cupid asleep in this frame. Now this frame isn't wood, it's, it's plastic. Um, it does say it's British registered and it's made in Hong Kong. So I, I wanna say that this you know, obviously isn't a Victorian one like they, like the most of them are, but this one is number 12 and it is $15. It's in great shape. There's no condition issues with it at all. And there's the glare, but this is Cupid Asleep, and this is $12. And it's number, no, it's $15, and it's number 12. All right. The next thing I have, I just showed this uh, in my video yesterday, I think. It's just this little green ribbed bowl. There's no markings on it at all. It's number 37. Hi, Judy. There's no markings on it. It's just a cute little, this is a great like cereal bowl. It is $5 and it's number 37. No chips, no cracks on it, but there's no also no markings on it either. All right, so that is number 37 and number 37 is $5. All right, the next thing is, this is a Fire King bowl, probably Brody. I didn't think about that. This is number eight. It's $18 and it is a Fire King bowl with a diamond pattern. It's in really good condition. There's no chips, no flaws, no, no damage on it anywhere. It is marked Fire King number nine on the bottom. Really, really cute. Okay, so $8 is $18 and it is sold by Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Okay, next thing is another, these are Pyrex. They are number 16. I have three of them. They are $18 for all three of them. They are these Pyrex restaurant wear mugs. The stripes on them, I know it's a little hard to tell, but it's green. It's like a forest green stripe. Hi, Vicki. These are number 16 and it's $18 and you get all three of them. They do say they are embossed Pyrex on the bottom. What else does it say? Pyrex uh, tableware by Corning. So the set of three mugs, Pyrex mugs are number 16 and they're $18. And if you're watching this later on, if you're not watching it live and you see something that you're interested in, still send me an email because I, I could very well still have it. So let me know if you see something and you're watching later on and I will, I will grab it for you. All right, I have one more thing up here that's up high that I don't want to uh, knock over because I tend to knock things over. This is number three. It's $15 and it is this clear chicken on a nest. It's in good condition. There's no chips on its little, I say this wobbler, gobbler, that's not what it is. Someone has told me before and I, and I can't remember already, but this is number three and it is $15. All right, gotcha, Marianne. The roost hen on this, it's not marked. There's no markings on it. And I, I don't know who makes this one. I'm sure if Ashley Rose is watching, she knows all about these guys. So she could probably tell you right off the bat what it is. Okay, gotcha, Marianne. Send me your, um, your uh, shipping address. Okay, what else? I got all kinds of stuff here. Let me show these. These are tangled up in something else. 
These are number 10. Number 10, it is a, you get the pair of them for $16 and they are these wooden frames. Now these would be super cute painted. Hi Sandy. They're just brown wood. I, they're not, I don't know what kind of wood they are. I don't, they, ha, they do have a grain in them. They might be walnut. If my dad was down here, he would know. But these are number 10 and you do get the pair for $16. For number 10, how cute would these be painted white or a bright color and put a little tchotchke on there? That's what I envision them doing. I mean, a lot of wooden things I don't like to see painted, but these, these would be fine painted to me. All right, so number 10 is $16 for the set, for the pair of the shelves. Okay, hi guys. I hope you guys are all taking care of each other and you know, just staying in and hunkering down. And um, Alex, Chapter 2 Vintage Co., she's in the chat too. Her and I have been talking that we might do some sort of a live hangout because we all miss going to the thrift stores. So we can just hang out and have a chat and just talk about maybe some of our collections or things that we missed about going to Goodwill. So leave a comment when this video goes up if that's something that you would like to tune into where Alex and I are both you know, on the screen at the same time and we can answer questions and we can just chat. And we're trying to see if a couple other channels would want to maybe, you know, do it with us as well. Just gives us all something to do and talk about since we can't go thrifting. All right, next things I have, well, I have two of one kind and one of the other. Hi, Landshark, I'm good, I hope you're good too. Hi, Tri State, Tri State. All right, I sold all of these that I had the last time that I sold them. Hi, Kelly. But I have two left and then one a little bit different. But my mom has made these bunnies and I have these two left. This one is $3, this little tan or like a, he's a cream colored bunny. He's $3, he's number 32. And he is, he has a little vintage button nose and eyes and he's got little whiskers and a little little cotton tail on the back. So he is $3 and he is number 32 for the cream colored one. And then I have this purple one. He's also $3. He is number 33. Yeah, these are very cute for Easter. My mom has made these. Again, vintage buttons. He's got cute little, little yellow ears with the teal on the inside. He also has a little button button tail but these will be cute in a crock or in a bowl yes june da, june has a couple of these bunnies yeah they are really cute so this is three dollars for this one that my mom has made and then this one's my favorite because i like the collar hi t and a treasures this one is four dollars it's number 34 okay 32 gotcha for 32 and it's a, it's a bunny on a stick. So I, this is just adorable. I have it in this guy right now, but you could put him in a pitcher or a crock and it's a stick, just a stick, but he is, it's all, it's $4. It's number 34. He also is made, he has vintage buttons and his trim is like a rickrack shaped. He's got a little tail on the bottom, but he's so cute to be stuck in a crock or a pitcher for your Easter display. Number 34 is $4. I think you guys are all, yes, B and Bark, you are visible. I can see your chat right there. I thought I heard dad coming down. That must've been Emma over there because dad stays upstairs. He stays in his hidey hole. Okay, what next? Let's show another Easter thing since I showed a couple Easter things already. This is number 24. Okay, Gloria, got you for 34 as well. Who doesn't need a bunny on a stick? I know, everybody should have a bunny on the stick, but that's the only bunny on a stick that I have left. So if you want, well, actually that one's sold already. Gloria, Gloria's got the bunny on the stick. Okay, these are vintage Easter Joy fillables. They are number 24 and they're $5. They're in their original packaging. They're just these little plastic, they're sort of like the East plastic Easter eggs, but there's little, they're little chips. 
And there's a little chick in a basket there and a bunny and a chick. And then there's a bunny there. And they, they click together, you know, like the plastic Easter eggs do. But they're still in the package. They are $5 and it's number 24. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, I know everybody's homeschooling their kids. I, I'm thankful this time that my kids are older and I don't have to, to do that. All right, gotcha, June. June is buying. These are so cute. Okay, and they, I, I would like take them out of the package and put them on a shelf. That's what I would do with them, but no, June, you can do what you want to with them, right, friend? All right, am I going too fast? I kind of feel like I'm, Emma's looking at me like, am I going too fast? Let me know if I'm going too fast because I tend to do that sometimes. Yeah, I was a teacher and I could not teach my own children. <laughs> I have a lot more patience with, other people's children than I do my own. All right, let's move on. Someone was asking me about a percolator and I'm probably saying that wrong, but I do have one. And it um, is one that you just have on the stove, but it, it, it does have all the pieces and it's number 19 and it is $16 and it has a copper bottom it has a really pretty percolator glass top. And on the inside, it still has the strainer. I'll show you the inside of it. It's still very usable condition. Very clean percolator. I know a lot of people, a lot of people still will use a percolator. And this is number 19 and it is $16. It's very, very pretty. And I don't, yeah, it has a Bakelite handle. The handle is Bakelite and it has a really pretty scroll work on there as well. So number six, number, what number are you again? Number 19. All right. June, do you want 19? I, yeah. I don't know if you were just reminding me what number it was because I forgot so soon. Perks that makes the best coffee, says my mother. A lot of people, I have sold a lot of them. People have came in the shop before and we're looking for them because that's what they say. They say they do make the best pot of coffee. So I have that one, and that, but that one sold to June. So I don't have it anymore. It's gonna go to June. All right, this is kind of maybe all along the lines of coffee. I did just show these in a video that I did as well. I have two of them. Let's see, I'm trying to see the chat too, but do need to be painted. Need brightening up. I don't know who were you talking about the percolator needs to be painted and maybe you're having a conversation with somebody else in the chat which i think is fun all right number 48 and number number 47 and number 48 are exactly the same but i have two of them and they are these cut glass sugar containers or condiment containers whatever they are six dollars each number 48 this one's number 48 and it has the little divot in the lid for a spoon. Really pretty cut glass. They've got roses around the side and that starburst pattern. No markings on the bottom. And I, you know that I'm not a glassware person, so I, you guys may know exactly what this is, but I don't. And number 48 is $6. And number 47 is also $6. My mother wants number 47, so number 48 is still available. It's these really pretty little cut glass sugar bowls. So I still have one of them left. Okay, what to show next? Oh, well, this one's kind of reminiscent of it. Hi, Francis. <laughs> I can see what you have. Circle, circle, circles. Oh no, is it buffering for you, Francis? Am I buffering? Francis, you have, I'm always buffering to you, Francis. I don't know why. Well, you can watch later, Francis. And if you see anything that you want, you let me know. Okay. So this next thing is number 14. And it's also $6. It's also a little condiment container, but it's different. It's silver. To me, it's very mid-century. But the cool thing about this, you know, here's the lid and it has the little you know, the little divot for the spoon. It does have a little plastic spoon and it has this cobalt blue glass insert. 
There's no chips on it. It's in great condition. There's also no markings on it, but it just sits right in here, this little silver um, canister. It's $6. It's number 14. Okay, Joanne wants number 14. Hi, Joanne. You weren't sure you were going to be able to make it. This is really cool. I love it. It's kind of, kind of mid-century and I don't know. It's just really cool. Gotcha, Joanne. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. It might be your Wi-Fi, Francis. Well, tune in later and let me know if you see anything that you want. And because, you know, I, I don't sell everything sometimes. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Um, this next thing is number seven. Number seven. Oh, can't leave their friend behind. Okay, Gloria. Gloria wants number 33 also. Oh, well, when you do bring the list over in the highlighter over here to me, Emma has a meeting with her college counselor because, you know, the college is just like at a screeching halt right now. We have to go Friday to move her out of her apartment because they have to vacate campus. So that's going to be a fun weekend. So she's got a, an appointment that so she's going to bring paperwork over to me and I'm going to keep track. All right. So this is number seven. It's twenty five dollars. And it is this Anchor Hawking orange juice pitcher with four glasses. Four little juice glasses. They are, that doesn't have, now normally this would have the little plastic lid that goes, that seals on top. It doesn't have that. But it's $25 for the set of five. So it is the orange juice canister and, huh? Oh, it's number, I already said the number, number seven. It's number seven. And the four juice glasses, $25 for the entire set. Number seven, orange juice glasses. I'm trying to put this stuff over here. You know what? I'm not going to, I'm gonna put it down here. So I'm gonna run out of room. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm going to show is a pillow, but my mother did not make this pillow. So just throw that out there now. It's $8. It's number 46. And it is this really pretty hand-stitched iris um, pillow. The purple and green. It's number 46. And it is $8. And it's, it's a pillow. It's all the way there. Uh, it's really, really pretty. And it's, it has a pillow insert. So it is it doesn't have, you know, the, the fabric stuff that balls apart. It's an actual pillow insert inside. So number 46 is $8 for the iris pillow. And it would look cute on your porch for spring. Okay. Now this next thing was in my video too yesterday and people, I've gotten so many comments on it. And, and I don't think that I mentioned what it was. People were like, that's a toilet. Gotcha. Gloria, Gloria wants number 46. It's a toilet. I know it was a toilet, but I didn't say that it was a toilet. But people were like, that's a toilet. I know. I just didn't say that. But it's this New Bern, North Carolina toilet ashtray. It's number 38, and it is $6. Hi, Susie. Number 38 is $6. It's made in Japan. It's It's got the U.S or the new burn North Carolina. I don't know. We, I, we had a discussion trying to figure out what this 